He left there and returned to his hometown. His disciples came along. On the Sabbath, he gave a lecture in the meeting place. He made a real hit, impressing everyone. We had no idea he was this good, they said. How did he get so wise all of a sudden, get such ability? But in the next breath, they were cutting him down. He's just a carpenter, Mary's boy. We've known him since he was a kid. We know his brothers, James, Justice, Jude, and Simon, and his sisters. Who does he think he is? They tripped over what little they knew about him and fell sprawling, and they never got any further. Jesus told them, a prophet has little honor in his hometown, among his relatives, on the streets he played in as a child. Jesus wasn't able to do much of anything there. He laid hands on a few sick people and healed them, that's all. He couldn't get over their stubbornness. He left and made a circuit of the other villages, teaching. Jesus called the twelve to him and sent them out in pairs. He gave them authority and power to deal with the evil opposition. He sent them off with these instructions. Don't think you need a lot of extra equipment for this. You are the equipment. No special appeals for funds. Keep it simple. And no luxury inns. Get a modest place and be content there until you leave. If you're not welcomed, not listened to, quietly withdraw. Don't make a scene. Shrug your shoulders and be on your way. Then they were on the road. They preached with joyful urgency that life can be radically different. Right and left, they sent the demons packing. They brought wellness to the sick, anointing their bodies, healing their spirits.